In this video, we have to learn about Holras law of independent migration of ions. At first, we have to discuss about the significance of Holras law. To explain the increase in conductance of weak electrolyte as dilution increases, Kohlrash proposed the law which is called as independent migration of ions. According to Kohlrash law, there are three main postulates. Number one, at infinite dilution, the migration of an ion does not depend on opposite charged ions. Let us see here, infinite dilution means the maximum dilution. Let us take one example here. If uh, 1 gram sodium hydroxide dissolved in 100 ml, it is said to be dilution. If 1 gram sodium hydroxide dissolved in 1000 ml or 10,000 ml, it is said to be infinite dilution. So, I am repeating again the first postulate. At infinite dilution, the migration of an ion does not depend on opposite charged ions. Second postulate. This is a most important postulate and it is to be considered as heart of Kohlrash law. According to this, limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte can be represented as the sum of the individual contributions of the anion and cation present in the electrolyte. Let us see here, limiting molar conductivity means the conductivity of solution at infinite dilution. Limiting molar conductivity means the conductivity of solution at infinite dilution. Number three, molar conductivity at Molar conductivity at infinite dilution is called limiting molar conductivity. These three are the postulates of Kohlrash law. One can represent Kohlrash law as follows. Here delta infinity is limiting molar conductance. Delta C is limiting molar conductance of cation. Delta A is limiting molar conductance of anion. So this is according to second postulate of Kohlrash law. Here cation and anion contributing the limiting molar conductance of an electrolyte. Applications of Kohlrash law. There are five important applications. That is it is used to calculate the dissociation constant of an electrolyte. It is used to calculate the limiting molar conductivity of weak electrolyte. It is used to calculate the degree of dissociation of weak electrolyte. Solubility constant of various salts are also calculated using this law. It is used to calculate the cell potential of various electrochemical cells. These five are important applications of Kohlrash law. Thank you. Happy learning.